Three objectives have been included under the malware subdomain and we'll be discussing those in this video. They include ransomware, polymorphic malware, and armored virus. Ransomware are used by attackers to kidnap your computer and demand ransoms to be paid for your system's release. I say kidnap in quotes because this is not physical theft, but something done electronically. This type of malware restricts user access on the infected system either by encrypting certain portion of the hard drive or by displaying a message that the system has been locked for whatever reason and will be restored after a fine has been paid. Ransomware is effective because it instills fear or panic in users. For example, it can inform the user that they have used their system to download copyrighted materials and as such must pay a fine. Like many other types of malware, Ransomware is typically spread through malicious attachments or links in phishing emails. It can also be spread via instance messaging applications and even visiting a malicious website. Examples of ransomware include Reviton, CryptoLocker, and CryptoWall. Sometime in October 2014, the ABC News 24 studio in Sydney was affected by a ransomware which took them offline for about 30 minutes. You can see how serious it was considering that they are a 24-hour news station. It should be noted that paying the ransom does not guarantee that the malware will be removed from the infected computer and more malware may even be installed on the system. Recovering from a malware is not easy and in this case, prevention is definitely better than cure. Polymorphic comes from two words, poly which means many and morph, which means forms. Therefore, a polymorphic malware, usually a virus, is one with many forms. Every time such a virus replicates and infects another file, it changes its pattern or signature, making it more difficult to detect by antivirus applications. This change of pattern is known as mutation. Armored viruses are written in such a way that the detection analysis and reverse engineering of these viruses are very difficult. One way to make detection difficult is to fool antivirus applications about the real location of the virus. So the virus says I'm here when it is actually some other place. To make analysis of the virus difficult by virus researchers, the authors of these viruses usually add misleading code to the virus and this usually makes the viruses large. I'm talking about the size of the viruses. In this video, we have covered three additional types of malware, including ransomware, which restricts user access to an infected computer until a ransom is paid, polymorphic malware, which change their form to avoid detection, and armored viruses, which make their detection and analysis difficult. In the next video, we will move on to subdomain 3.2, which deals with various attack types.